Hello, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's uh, sunny outside, just a little bit cool, but it's fall, so <laughs> I'm ready for it. Today, we are going to make whipped cream and butter. And I don't know if you've ever made whipped cream, um, homemade whipped cream, but it's, it's so easy. So what we're gonna start with is two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now it has to be heavy whipping cream because of the butter content. I've been ha I've had this sitting out now for about uh, 30 minutes at room temperature because it, it goes faster if it's not super cold. So I'm just gonna put that in my food processor Get down here where you can see it and I've just got the metal blade in there I'm gonna put the top on it now you could do this with a stand mixer or a hand mixer an immersion blender a regular blender or you could use a churn this is a churn and you would just put it in here and manually turn it by hand but it, it takes a little while to do this you could also just put it in a quart jar and just shake it until it happens. But it takes at least 15 to 20 minutes to do it that way. So this is the easier way. So this is just my food processor with um, two cups of heavy cream. So I'm just going to turn it on high and let it go. can already see that it's frothing up a little bit it's gonna take probably about five minutes to achieve what we're gonna do so I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna let it go on high and we'll be back when it gets to where we want it all right it's been about uh, four minutes and you can see that the heavy whipping cream has turned into whipped cream so if I was going to use it now at this point I would just put uh, two or three tablespoons of powdered sugar in it and I'd use it as whipped cream. But I'm gonna let it keep going, and when you let it keep going, it's gonna turn into butter. Well, wouldn't you know it, my food processor decided it wanted to stop working after it got to the whipped cream point, so I had to get my little processor out, and I've been just processing it for just a minute or so, and I want, to, I want you to see how it's changed texture And we're just gonna keep going until it makes butter. butter and what happened was the fat in the cream separated from the milk so the milk that's left is buttermilk and the rest is butter so now I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna form it into a ball and I'm gonna rinse it and I'll show you how I do that so look at that beautiful butter and I got almost a cup of buttermilk out of it so I'll save that for some kind of bacon recipe. Now we're not done because you need to get all of the buttermilk out of this butter. So I'm gonna pour off what's on there and then you just mash it around with your spoon and pour ice cold water on it. Now, when I was growing up, we had cows all the time. And uh, my mom um, had my brother go out in the mornings before school, my brother Grant. That was his job to go out and milk the cows and bring it in. 
And when you have whole milk, you bring the milk in and you put it in the refrigerator. Now I'm gonna drain that off because we're gonna do it again. And as it sits, the cream rises to the top. And so after a day or so, you can just scoop that cream off and that's what you use to make butter. Mom made butter and sold it and she had cute little butter molds to put it in. And so some of our neighbors would come to our house to buy butter. But you just mash it around in that ice cold water until the water is clear. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna rinse it one more time. Now this kind of butter will not last in the refrigerator as long as what you would buy at the grocery store because at the grocery store it's a little bit um, different process. But um, this will last in the refrigerator about a week, but you can also freeze it. So if you're not gonna use it within a week, you can um, just stick it in the freezer and take it out as you need it and thaw it and use it. And that is our butter. And that's all there is to it. So the reason you have to get all the milk out of that butter is so that it'll last longer because if there's any milk left in it at all, the milk will start sour and it'll make your butter go bad faster. So if it starts um, smelling a little funny or tasting funny, you need to just toss it. And I've never been able to keep it more than a week in the refrigerator. So if you make it and you don't think you're gonna use it right away, just go ahead and freeze it. And here's our butter. And I cannot wait to have some of that on a homemade biscuit. You guys have a great weekend. And thanks for watching.